Hey guys, just want to show you, put some epoxy primer on this thing. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I gotta put epoxy primer on it right away because I'm outside right now until I get the car in the shop. The shop's so over jammed with uh, machines and stuff that I got that uh, until I make some room, I'm stuck outside. So I have to uh, get this sealed up. Any bare metal, but so far, this is what we got. And it's looking pretty good. Uh, again, uh, I'm happy with it. Okay, guys, we'll uh, talk to you in a bit. Okay, uh, looks like we found a patch that's been pop riveted in there. It actually looks pretty good, but uh, what's underneath is the question. Did they take out the rust, or did they just pop rivet over rust? So I'm going to have to take her out. But that's where we're at. So I'm bringing you along with me. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, just what I thought. Good thing I decided to remove it. Because <laughs> it looks like they just went over the rust. So anyways, I'm going to try and see if I get some kind of live action going here by holding this video camera with one hand and hammering with the the other hand and see if it'll turn out oops okay here we go the big reveal Ouchie. <laughs> Just what I was afraid of. Alright guys, I'm going to uh, get on to uh, repairing this. And then I'll bring you back when I got some progress. I, I can't hold this camera with one hand and work with the other. I, I just can't do it. So, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, take care. Hey guys, back again. Um, this is what I uncovered. Not good, not good at all. That's a tough fix. And you can't buy a piece that goes in there. I do have a piece for the rocker that goes across, but uh, the door pillar and the way it bends, uh, down this way and then I got this they had just covered this with a big chunk of Bondo so I had bought a shrinker stretcher machine on sale the other day and I think uh, it's now going to come in handy as I try to fabricate this all up and uh, wow, it's like uh, digging for buried treasure, except your treasure is uh, a rust pocket. I, I knew it, I knew it when I seen the Bondo in this area that as soon as I ground it out, I was gonna run into a problem. I was scared to do it, but I knew I had to do it, and obviously, I'm glad there's no sense doing a car to this extent and then leaving that uh, well my intentions for this thing is once I get it in the garage is to get the body off this car and do a frame off restoration but I'm gonna I'm gonna jab away at this today and see how far I get and I'll bring you back when I'm 
got some progress and see where we're at. All right, we're at, uh, what are we, Tuesday, May 30th today. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Another beautiful day out in Cayuga, Ontario. Okay, guys, hope you guys are having a good day, and I will bring you back soon. Well, hello again. Uh, this is what we got. I've cut out the rotten metal. And this is what I'm left with. Very frustrating. Uh, you never know what you're getting into when you start renovating a car and But I think I'll manage. Got to do it. Got no choice. Got to do it. Got to fix it somehow, some way. So I'm gonna treat this metal. I'm gonna I'm gonna wire brush it all up and uh, treat it all up with uh, phosphoric uh, phospho. And we'll go from there. All right, back again. Um, just want to take a quick uh, shot of this prior to the rust encapsulation. So show show everybody out there how the metal looks after I've cleaned it all up. Uh, wire brushed it, uh, grinded it, uh, wire brushed deep inside. I don't know if we can get inside here and see anything, but probably not. But I got it nice and clean all the way back. No, I, I doubt you just could see that. Anyways, so this is what she looks like all cleaned up. And uh, we'll get some rust converter on here and I'll show you what it looks like after that. Cheers. Well here's what I got so far guys. Uh, it's coming along. Um, I'm gonna weld it together. I can't do it tonight because I'm running out of daylight here. It's 8 30 p.m. It starts to get dark in about half an hour. I'm just wondering if I should weld it together in that radius seam off the car and then uh, attach it together as one piece but it's a thought only problem is if I don't get it in the exact spot then it's a waste of two pieces but that's what I got so far I think it's going to work out I just got to take care of all this junk in the the back of it here on this side now uh, but those two patches are cut and shaped and I'm really impressed with that shrinker stretcher unit um, I'm surprised how easy that was anyways I uh, hope all's having a good time a good night and we all talk to you later bye bye Cheers. Hey guys, back again with this uh, door pillar rust repair videos. Uh, last night I made my patch for this corner. You know, started with the template uh, cardboard first. And here's what we got. Uh, patch came out good. Welded up nice, got good penetration all the way through. There's no no light coming through this at all. I checked her last night, and that's the patch I made. She's gonna go right in. Hey guys, just want to show you. I put some epoxy primer on this thing. Looks pretty good.